Games. Ah, that's good sweat. Hi, my name is James, and this is James Loves Games. And today, I want to talk about five reasons why I am quitting Twitch. I'm quitting Twitch. <laughs> Sorry, I'm quitting. <laughs> And I'm moving back to YouTube. Just to put your fears at ease, I'm not gonna stop streaming. I'm just stopping streaming on Twitch. Why, you may ask? Nobody asks, but I'm telling. Before I get into it, I just wanna say that I moved over to Twitch after making videos and streaming on YouTube for quite a while, just because I thought it would help grow my audience a little bit, and that way I could have, you know, the streaming aspect of things over on Twitch, which is more designed for that type of thing, and I could export the videos later over to YouTube which is what I've been doing and it's been okay. But it's been kind of an experiment and I said from the beginning I was gonna try it for a few months and see how it worked out. And it's been a few months and I gotta say, I just prefer YouTube over Twitch. So here are my five reasons why I'm leaving Twitch and going back to YouTube. Number one, I already have a much bigger follower base on YouTube. I've got over like 20 times as many subs, if you will, on YouTube. So I'm already working with a larger group of people by streaming on YouTube as opposed to Twitch. And granted, I've only been doing it for a couple of months, maybe two or three months on Twitch. And so it's not gonna just explode. But that kind of also is my point. I mean, I've already got this audience on YouTube waiting to watch the streams. So why would I start from scratch on this totally different platform? I just wanted to try it just to see if it would work out. And I'm glad I did because now I'll never wonder. Number two, Twitch prioritizes streamers who already have really big audiences. If you're ever browsing on Twitch, you'll see over on the left side, all sort of like the really popular streamers that have like tens of thousands of current viewers and subs and things like that. And Twitch is a business and they wanna make money. So obviously they're going to promote their bigger streamers before they promote smaller ones like myself. And so as a result, if you have a lot of subs, you get more subs because they push you to the top the higher you already are. It makes sense for them. It doesn't really make a lot of sense for me. YouTube, on the other hand, really rewards creativity and keeping up with trends. If you're making good thumbnails, if you have like a good intro, a good logo, if you are making good content, that's going to resonate with people. And YouTube is going to take notice as well. I've noticed that uh, the streams that I did do on YouTube before I switched over to Twitch had much higher views and much more concurrent viewers than I got even on my best streams on Twitch. And so this tells me that YouTube is already giving my videos and streams more priority than Twitch is simply because I'm doing something that people are wanting to see. Whereas on Twitch, I'm just I'm not really even a blip on Twitch's radar. And so I kind of have to just start from zero and build my audience myself. Twitch isn't really gonna give me any help. Whereas on YouTube, they're going to put my thumbnail out there and put me in people's recommendations based on tags and keywords and things like that. Number three, YouTube has a much simpler interface that I personally prefer over Twitch. Now don't get me wrong, Twitch has a lot of really great features. They've got bits, they're in-house currency that you can buy and use to support streamers. They've got hype trains, where if multiple people sub in a row, it creates this in-chat event that people can get all excited for and it builds more excitement and encourages more people to interact. They've got raids where when your stream is over, you can send all of your viewers to somebody else's stream. And it's all really fun and kind of cool, but it's just not something that I'm looking for. It's just too much. I want something just simple. I want to stream myself playing a game or something. And if people want to watch that, that's great. And they can chat and talk to each other and talk to me and I can interact with everybody. And that's really the limit of what I want to do with my stream. So YouTube makes more sense in that regard. Number four, all of my streams are ending up on YouTube anyway. So it makes more sense just to stream them on YouTube. What I've been doing is I will stream on Twitch and then a few days later, I'll export the stream to YouTube and then make a thumbnail and make a description and do all that extra stuff I would have done on YouTube anyway. And so it's, it would be nice to just cut all that step out. It's not a whole lot of extra work, but it is extra work, and it's something I would like to not have to do. Work smarter, not harder, right? Also, something that I've noticed that is kind of, 
I mean, it's not a real big deal, but it's important to me is that whenever I stream on YouTube, because my videos are going to be ending up on YouTube anyway, uh, the streams that I do on YouTube keep the chat at the time that it was made when I live streamed. So whenever you watch a video on YouTube that was at one point live streamed on YouTube, you're able to watch the chat unfold on the right side of the screen as if it's happening live. Whereas if I stream on Twitch and export the video over to YouTube, you're not going to see the chat because the chat is built into Twitch's website and their software. And so it doesn't export the chat. The only way for me to get the chat into my YouTube video is to actually put the chat overlaid onto the video, which to me seems kind of silly because it's just going to take up precious real estate on the screen. And if I don't do it, then I'm just a crazy person talking to nobody. And so it's kind of like an inside joke. If you're watching the video after I streamed it, you don't know what questions were asked, what I'm responding to. I just kind of look over here and then say something completely out of context. So if you're new to it, you don't know what the heck is going on. So it just, it's better because my content's ending up on YouTube that I stream it on YouTube so that people watching later will be able to enjoy the chat and understand the conversation a little bit better. All right, my fifth and final reason I'm leaving Twitch for YouTube is because Twitch is really more of a lifestyle that I'm just not able to participate in right now. What I mean by that is in order to get more followers on Twitch, you really have to be live streaming a lot. The only way you're going to get any kind of exposure on Twitch is by being live and doing live streams. Case in point, just a couple days ago, Ludwig, big streamer, biggest streamer on Twitch. He became the biggest streamer on Twitch because he streamed for 30 days straight, 24 seven. He had the cameras on and he was, something was going on on his stream. And so he broke the record, got the most concurrent subs, and that's how you succeed on Twitch. So if you're looking to do really well on Twitch, you have to really commit to the lifestyle of Twitch. You've got to be streaming for, you know, like a full-time job, like for eight hours a day, three or four days a week. I mean, you really have to commit to Twitch. Whereas on YouTube, I can make a video, upload it and just leave it. And it's going to accrue the views as time goes on. And it's sort of like a passive thing where I'm getting the exposure and the views after the work is done, not while I'm making it and only while I'm making it. Now, granted, you can watch videos on Twitch after they've been live streamed, but that's not why people go there. And most people don't do that. After the stream ends, I'll get a few views of the videos that I've streamed, but not much. I would get way more on YouTube because that's what YouTube is built for. It's made for people to watch videos after they've been made. And so you're going to see your videos and your previous streams get a lot more views on YouTube after they're over as opposed to on Twitch. So those are my five reasons why I'm quitting Twitch and moving back to YouTube. I hope that they were kind of informative to you as a subscriber of my channel who's interested in knowing what I'm going to be doing in the coming months, but also as maybe somebody who is a content creator yourself and maybe considering whether to go to Twitch or to YouTube or which one is a better platform for you. It really depends on you because they're both very different platforms and what I'm aiming to do and my style and my wants and desires and my community and everything, it just makes more sense to do it on YouTube as opposed to Twitch. But if you really want to just be doing stuff live all the time and really want all the fun interactivity that Twitch offers, it's definitely gonna be a better bet for you. Having said all that, if you made it this far, my last streams are going to be this week, April 20th and April 22nd. After that, I'll be right back here streaming all the juicy goodness for your eyes only. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time on... Games. Ah, that is good sweat. Number one. Uh, uh, okay. And everybody who's subbed here on to... Everybody who's subbed here on YouTube to my uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> I can't. I can't even get this out.